morning, Brenda. So, Brenda, this is the uh, the part that we're talking about doing the blanks, uh, blank sizing for you so you can laser cut or plasma cut it. So, I had to show you this. We had to put a false bend in the center. I've tried this morning to uh, to figure out how to do it, but without using a false bend, there's no way. It keeps hitting the rim. I'll show you the solution here. And you'll quickly understand what I mean. So, we're going to start with uh, bending the first bend. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see that this is the first bend of the two... Uh, flanges on each end, which you, you've shortened. So we do those two bends, and then here we're going to put in a false bend, or sometimes it's called a reverse bend or a W bend. So this is the, this is the uh, false bend that we're going to put in. And you'll see exactly in the next second, you'll see why. So then we do this bend, <clears throat> and then we uh, do the final bend, which is here, You'll see if we didn't put a false bend in, it would actually hit the ram. You see, we put in about a 20 degree bend in the center. Here, actually, it did <clears throat> hit the ram right here. So we'll probably have to bend this instead of one instead of 160 degrees. Let me show you, let me go back. I'll show you. Go to the bend B here. Uh, two seconds here. Right now, this is 160 degrees, this bend. If you can see here, you see the uh, cursor, below the cursor it says A, 160 degrees. We'll probably have to make it 155 degrees, so an extra 5 degrees over bend. If we don't, then it, like I said, it, will, it will collide with the ram and it won't, it won't, we won't be able to finish it. Okay, so just bear that in mind that we'll bend it like this as you see it. And then in the center, when we flatten it, you may see some deformation. Not a lot, but if but we cannot form the part without this this bend here, which the last stage of our bending, we put back in, we center it, and we flatten it, and this is your your finish sizes. All right. Hope that all makes sense. And um, I'll send the blank to you. Uh, let's see here. I've got the blank here. You can see here. Let's see here. Blank update. The blank sizes are <clears throat> 605.53. If I quickly do some math here, 605.53 divided by 20.4 equals 23.84 is your blank. But I'll, I'll get you that all in the email. All right. Thanks.